It's like we're running in circles Going around every day Getting stuck in the hurdles Of yesterday Don't you wanna go further Away from the fray Let's not get stuck in our worries We'll make our way Won't you come outside Where the sunflowers bloom Breathe in the air Look up to the moon I'll meet you outside guys welcome back to another video good morning my name's Clayton I couldn't help myself last time we came out here to Lake Monroe we limited out so where do you think I'm at I'm back in Monroe I put in over in historic Sanford downtown Sanford there's a boat ramp there it is it, I left the house it was 40 degrees so I didn't want too far of a drive in the boat it was either there or go down to like I-4 and put in but I've never put in there. Actually a pretty nice boat ramp. They have four, well, four or five slips there. So pretty nice, but we're out here. We're gonna try to catch our limit again. Hopefully some bigger ones, but uh, I'm gonna bring you guys along. See how many we get. Show you guys how I do it. Let's get these lines in the water. I like to troll real slow about little less than a mile per hour but i'll play with it i mean if i'm not catching anything i'll slow down i'll speed up until uh until they start biting i got i use four to six pound fluorocarbon on my reels and last time i was out here i had good luck with uh with this one right here the white one so hopefully it'll be the same as last time. Now that one I just put out, I don't know, I'd say 15 foot behind the boat. I do have a split shot on there. So, orange, black body bit of green on the tail i'll put the links down below for the ones that i uh for the ones i have the links to i got quite a few white ones on because they were biting on that last time might have to switch it up today that one's kind of ripped up. I might need to replace that one. Let's 
It's nice today. It's kind of glassy. I think they said the wind was supposed to pick up to like four or five miles an hour. This is another white one, but it's it's kind of got some black speckles in it. Hopefully it's not too cold for them this morning. It's almost too cold for me. I'm recording on my phone right now. The GoPro keeps shutting off saying low batter even though even though it says 94 percent on there never really had any issues like that but from what i read they say they don't like the cold weather uh, i don't know how them people up there snowboarding and and all that with gopros how the heck they're doing it so I got the GoPro batteries down my pants, trying to get them warm. All right. And normally I don't, I'm not in the middle of the lake. I, I mean, here I'm a little bit farther away, but like when I'm in Harney, I stay kind of close. I don't know, three, 400 yards off the, uh, off the bank, off the shoreline. Here it's a little bit different. I don't know how far I'd say I am away from the shore. Quarter mile, maybe. Pretty good ways, but I, I don't very, I don't fish out in the middle of the lake. I mean, I see a lot of people out there and I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if they're drifting with minnows or, or what, but this is the way I always do it. And, I mean, I know people have success with the minnows and, and drifting and stuff like that, but I like, I like this one. <laughs> so I got three different size rods. I, I have a total of six, but I have a short one, a medium one, and a long one. I put my short one straight back, my medium one's a little bit more, and my long one's just to try to space those lures out, you know, trying to help keep them from getting all tangled up all right well they're out that sun is bright i'm gonna have to get my damn glasses all right here we go first one white one too. I don't know, that sun's probably terrible. Yeah. Yep, that one was on a white one. Damn, that feels like, oh, he let it go. Oh, come on. Uh, dang, that was like the first one in, in a while. Oh, now the other one's going. Uh, dang, he let go of that one and grabbed that one. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, don't get in that line. Oh, did he get in it? He feels like a good one though. He's fighting. Don't come off of there. Jump. All right. Heck yeah. Hopefully they'll start turning on. They've been slow. Heck yeah, that one. And caught it on an orange and black. Heck yeah. He 
shut that thing down. Easy, buddy. Where you at back there? Where you at? There he is. <laughs> so far, they've all been pretty good. This one, this one looks like a pretty good one. Heck yeah. What the heck do I got going on here? All right. Dang nice one. What is that? Like a weird spot on him. I think that's number three. buddy come on in the boat bud yes that'll do that will do that's on an old pink and white one Jim Border See that real well. One thing, thing about it ain't got no color left in it. Right, dang, they're still biting it though. You got four. Try to keep track of these things a little bit better. Last time I had a heck of a time trying to count them. Broke that thing over. Dang. Start daydreaming. Oh, that's Big Daddy right there. Heck yeah. Damn, he was barely hooked. Damn, I got lucky with him. Right. <laughs> oh, damn. What's up with that? No, I don't like that. Check this out. What is up with that? I think I'm good. I think he can go back. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. No. No, I'm good. What do y'all think that was? I have no idea. <laughs> We got one over here. All right. Oh, he let it go. That's okay. All right, that one was on the, uh, Jim Porter, the pink spark, well, the white body with the pink tail. Heck yeah. And I put this one way out there because I haven't been getting a lot. 
a lot of hits. So I was like, well, put it down deep. The farther, th the farther I throw it out, the, uh, the deeper it is. So I'm gonna put it way back out there again. If I get another one down deep, if I do, then I hate putting them a long ways out like that though, cause uh, when you're reeling them in, they get, they get tangled more, so. Where that guy's going? He must not be having any luck. Dang, it's getting cold again. I took my jacket off. Starting to get warm. I might have to put my jacket back on. He just hit it. Come on, hit it again. Hit it again, I dare you, come on. All right. Well, I dared him to hit it again and he hit it again. Damn, that one was pretty far out there too. Oh, I think he's tangled in my other line. Either that or there's a fish on it. Or no, he's in it. Oh. Could you not do that with my lines? Not bad. About the average size for today so far. And that one was on a pink and white one. The Jim Porter. See, today it seems like I'm not getting as many hits on that, uh, on the all white ones. It's been more the pink and whites, but I did have one. Well, no, I caught one on the white. I caught one on the orange. They don't care. As long as your bait's in the right spot at the right time, they're gonna hit it. <coughs> oh, there we go. You gotta be faster than that. You gotta pay attention. <laughs> Come on. Which one? Dang, it's like that game where they pop their heads up. You got to. Mm, mm. <laughs> All right, this was this one was way out there. This is and he feels like a big one, too. Oh, damn. Trying to reel him in too fast. And to keep him out of them lines. Dang it. Heck yeah, it's been a little while. And this one was on a white one. Really haven't caught any small ones. The heck is that thing hung up on? Heck yeah. Like a pretty good one there. It's definitely, definitely been slow.
definitely has been slowing down. That's okay. Hey, buddy. Come on, get off her. Oh, there's another one. Ah, right. Heck yeah, I'll take it. Damn right. Two at once. Who knew? I dang, I opened up a can of Viennese sausages and now they all start. I got my hands full trying to eat my damn Viennese and, and they started all of a sudden. It's kind of like when you get up, you got to pee or something. That's when all the damn, that's when they, they hit all your lines. You're trying to pee, and damn, doing something else, looking at your phone or eating a Viennese sausage. What kind of Viennese sausage do you guys like? I like the smoked ones. They are good. Not a big fan of the originals. It's hard to beat smoked ones though. Do y'all drink the juice? No, not me. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, he jumped completely out of the water. <laughs> he let it go, though. Yeah, figures. Now, I am tipping these things. I, uh, I normally use fireballs. I still got some fireballs left, but I was in Walmart the other day, and I used to use these crappie nibbles. Well, I don't even know if they're called crappie nibbles anymore. They used to be. Yeah, crappy nibbles. It's in the paint. Figure what the hell, I'll pick them up. Those fireballs really don't have a smell to them. These, they smell like just fish food. Definitely can't hurt. I'm about to have to take this jacket off again. Yeah, false flag. Oh, come on. It's like the second or third one that is hitting it. Damn, now he's popping the other one. Oh, I got him that time. I don't know that it's a speck though. If it is, it's a good one. Eh, it looks like one. Finally. Don't you come off there. Heck yeah. It's a good one. It's a nice one. I think he hit all three of my lines. One, two, and then I got him on the last one. What do I got? I got one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it looks like 10, I don't know, 10 or 11. All right. Maybe they'll kick, kick it back into gear here soon because it has been slow. It's going on, what damn time is it? 10, 10. I've been out here at it for since 7.30. Here we go, the same pole as the last one. Come on. Let's get it. I was just thinking about maybe going and trying the other side of the lake. But that's two here in the last uh, few minutes, last five minutes. Heck yeah. All right. Come on. Open up. I need to try to count those things. I think it was, it was 10 or 11 a minute ago, I think. Luckily, it's a Tuesday, so not a ton of not a ton of boats out here. Heck yeah, here we go. Been having a little bit of action. Not a ton. Hell, I think this is the first little one. Oh, yeah, he can go back. Let him grow, even though he'll fry. Yeah. All right, guys. I just got all the lines reeled in. I don't know, I think we ended up with somewhere around 15. All of them's pretty decent, but I'm having issues with my trolling motor. I don't know, it seems like it's losing power you know, I've checked the prop and you know, there's nothing around the prop. And only thing I can think of is it didn't charge. So it's barely, it's, I'm having to keep it wide open and I'm only doing like one mile per hour. So batteries are a couple of years old, like, I don't know, two, three years old. They should be okay. But I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna test them and count and clean these fish and hopefully I can figure out what's wrong with the thing. It's probably just dead batteries. But uh, I'm gonna go get this thing loaded up and head to the house, clean these fish. Away from the fate. Let's not get stuck in our worries. We'll make our way. Won't you come Well, at least I figured it out. What a pain in the butt. 
this thing's got an onboard onboard charger to charge these two trolling motor batteries and it was reading check connection checked all the connections connections were fine so i tested both batteries one was reading like 13 point something and this one wouldn't read nothing nothing at all luckily i had another battery laying around this one here and i wired that all up and now the trolling motor is running like a damn bat out of hell and the charger says that it's charging so so yay i got a battery no <laughs> no it won't fit it's like just a just a hair off i mean just just a hair uh, so looks like i'm going to buy a new battery freaking sucks I haven't cleaned the fish yet i was worried about this uh, i guess it could have been worse it's actually the next day i wanted to cut in here i just ran over to uh, american battery company in samford and uh picked up this refurbished battery they call it a second and you cannot beat the price of it it's 54 bucks and that's the place right there american battery in sanford 54 dollars hell even if it lasts for a couple of years that other interstate that i had he said that by the sticker, it should have been a uh, 2020. I mean, hell, it's like, what are we, just into 2023? It's not even three years old. So, if I can at least get a couple of years out of this, $54, you can't beat that. We get this thing in here and get this trolling motor running. All right, now we're gonna clean some fish. Well, now that the battery situation is done, we're getting to cleaning these fish. We got 12. It's pretty decent ones. Heck, you can't complain about that. Shoot. That's what I'm talking about. Filling the freezer up. <laughs> I probably could have had more if, I, if the damn trolling motor would have held out. I probably spent an hour and a half screwing with that thing, trying to figure out if, uh, if I could fix it while I was out there. But... I took the prop off and, you know, checked the connections. I did all that while I was out there. But couldn't fix a bad battery on the lake. So I'm cleaning the fish around this side of my house today because the sun goes down around back and I really don't feel like staying in the sun. So I'm using a, my Bubba Blade Pro Series brushless with the shortest blades that it has love this thing i've had it for about a year now maybe a little over a year absolutely love it but guys that's how i do it go if you're if you're in the central florida area go try lake monroe they're tearing it up i haven't been hearing any good things come out of lake harney unfortunately that's you know that's kind of my lake i, I love lake harney but uh They've been turning it up in Lake Monroe, so if you guys are around, go try it out. I'll put all the links to the lures that I was using down below. Sometimes, well today I was using crappie nibbles. Buy those at Walmart. I was using the pink ones. Sometimes I use fireballs. I think I can get those on Amazon. I think I do have the link to them. And I don't know if they work or not, but hell, it can't hurt. Guys, I'm gonna get to cleaning these fish. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe you learned something, but you guys stay tuned and I'll see you on the next video. Let's clean some fish.